All right. Well, we ran a lot of content at level six. Uh, we've been we've actually uh, capped out an experience long ago, but we're not ready to take seven. We've we've run all the level twos at six. We ran all the level twos on Reaper one or a, a couple on Elite, and we've run all the level uh, threes on Normal and Hard, and we've also completed Catacombs. Uh, Tangle Root Gorge, Seal of Chanticore, and Waterworks on both normal and hard. So those chains are a bit problematic. Now we're set up that for since we've run normal and hard on all those chains, we could just run the quest at the level as normal. So next level, level 7, we'll run the level 3s at, on Reaper 1 or Elite, most of them on Reaper 1, and we'll run the level uh, 4s on normal and hard. Some of the level 4s we've already run, so we'll be able to skip those. So we'll just take a quick look at our uh, uh, DDO store, a um, couple, couple mails. Uh, looks like we, for 500 favor, we got 25 points. That's the standard reward. You get that every life, every character, when you get 500 favor. And then we got a special reward, which is 50 points for reaching 500 for the first time ever. So the next time we reach 500 favor on the server we won't get that again that's a one-time special reward so we receive 75 points that's good that brings our total uh up quite a bit um we've purchased uh the expansion packs for 99 each and that's those are the only purchases we made so we have a balance of 952 almost enough to to buy uh Epic Destinies. Would love to actually buy these monster manuals, but I need to make sure we have enough for Epic Destinies. This is a pretty, kind of a, a standard sale. It's a great price, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, we need it. We have other priorities right now, so we just can't spend our money on that. Uh, if I look at my history, you, know, you can see we have our, our points. These are the coupon code I used for the free things. And, uh, and here's the, the, Three, the, the two special 99 purchases and the free coupon codes. And then here's some of my favorite runs from other servers. So 952 points, that's that's good. We're really getting close to Epic Destinies. Uh, if those go on sale, we'll be able to get those. If those go on sale in the near future. Uh, let's see. We now have earned enough Coin Lord favor. Um, I think I got that email message earlier to to get another pack. But... It, but uh, it requires a very rare item called the Collapsed Portable Hole. We will get that item uh, when we complete our our Giant Hold favor. Probably probably around level, um, I think it's the first tier, so probably around level uh, 15 or maybe 16. We'll get that and we'll be able to get that extra pack. In the meantime, we'll keep an eye out. If we get it as a rare drop or get it in our end reward list, we'll take it and we'll get that uh, free... We'll be able to get our extra inventory space. You can use astral shards. We don't have any. Um, as free-to-play players, we're not allowed to use the astral shard exchange, even if we have astral shards. So if we happen to get astral shards in a uh, free in our free silver roll, then we'll we could use that as well because they're pretty much useless to us otherwise. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take level seven. And I don't think we get too many special choices. Um, we're pretty much the same boat here where we're going to put two of our points to disable, two to search, one to spot. So we're falling a little bit behind on spot, but a couple points is not a big deal. Um, we got plus two favor, uh, plus two spot from a favor reward. We're wearing some spot goggles. Uh, we'll be able to upgrade those soon as well with some we've, that dropped for us uh, when we were running uh, another quest. And so that's it. So let's go take a look at our uh, enhancement points. Uh, I want to try to get to this turn undead, at least one tier of it, where we get 66 light damage. But unfortunately, uh, I only have four points. And uh, so to do this, I'm going to have to, I have seven points here. 
I only need six to get to the second tier. So I'm going to reset this only 277 flat. And I'm going to only take one lay on hands. I'd really like to have the two, but I'd, I'd like to try I'm going to stick with the PRR MRR. And now we have five points. So we basically just gave up one lay on hands. And so our choices here is we either double down on lay on hands uh, here uh, or we try to go for this tier. And I really, really want to go for this tier. And so the question is, where do we put our points? We could put them to uh, criticals again. We have this nice exalted smite, um, which adds plus one to our critical multiplier, among other things. Uh, and they somewhat regenerate. And if we take this, uh, there's three tiers of it. We don't really have a lot of extra smites, so I'm kind of leaning against it. This lead the charge, I, I've never used. I'm kind of intrigued by it. Um, you rush forward and attack. And there's a lot of places where I would want to do that. Um, rush forward and so let's look at the top tier. Mo melee rush attack. Rush forward up to 30 feet. To your selected opponent and deliver a plus 5 weapon strike. 12 second cooldown. Shares cooldown with shield charge. Uh, that could be useful. I, I found that some of those are a little bit hard to uh, to control. You know, getting to the right place. So giving up some of your life force to win a battle. You empower the next blow against your foe. This plus 2 weapon attack increases critical multiplier by one and deals 5d6 of the damage, but costs you five hit points and one spell point, whether or not it's successful. You gain 15 temporary spell points if you strike an undead or evil outsider. So that's kind of interesting. Um, it, it's a way to recharge spell points uh, for our divine might, so that's nice. Uh, we could just go with um, either int or, or strength or charisma. Uh, let's see where we're at. We are at a um, even number currently, but we might find gear. You know, uh, I, I think we have a plus four item, so I doubt we'll find any more better gear. So I'm not in a hurry to upgrade this. Uh, these don't really excite me too much. More smites, ev might evils might be good, but I'm kind of leaning towards just, uh, or we could do this this boost. I think I'm going to do this damage boost here, uh, just so we could show you how it works and then I'm going to stick one tier to critical and then I'll put one tier to turn undead and so we'll have uh, some you know some additional turn undead damage when we uh, against undead in a mob the uh, I'd say it didn't work super good but it, we were, it was somewhat effective on hard I'm skeptical it'll be useful at all on on reaper but i'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and try it out in catacombs and it's only going to get better as we advance levels i have to re-add the sacred defense because i reset it and take it again um skill boost is still good our cleave is still there so so that's an enhancement um i like to generally go to feats under paladin feats just make sure we didn't get anything auto granted that i missed uh looks like we have we, we don't have the range attack, but we have these other three on our hot bar, so we're good. Don't think we're missing anything else um, on our hot bar from feats. All right, so that's it. So um, for spells, we're still at one spell. I'm going to go ahead and keep Seek Eternal Rest. We have a nice item we're getting. Uh, I'm still skeptical to work, but, you know, if it doesn't work, we will... Uh, uh, you know, we'll maybe adjust accordingly. So we have, um, in terms of plat, we have, uh, 12,899, we might be able to get an item, but let's just grab what we found out of our, what we had in our bank first. We sort of know what we have. Um, this is something I'm going to trade to the bank. These two things were things I was going to trade to the bank character. It's a little better false life, life item, although level five, this is level five. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. This is not, not a good item, as good of an item. 
this is bound to account and uh, we, we still haven't run Stealthy Repossession. I don't know if this is going to be any good, but I'd like to give it a try and see if this might, uh, uh, you know, that's a quest where you can't, you can only kill a limited number of, of enemies. And of course, with two-handed fighting and strike through, it just makes it really hard to attack. Um, we may have to get a, a single weapon, a single fighting weapon, longsword or something, just to uh, avoid fighting or, you know, killing things. But what I'm hoping is I could just use these three clickies at levers to basically put things to sleep and, um, you know, at least some of them and, and reduce the aggro that we get. All right, so let's take a look at some of these items. We have these boots. Uh, the swim is really nothing special, although there are some quests where we might need to do some swims coming up. So that's not totally useless. Uh, we've, we have... Um, uh, the Hallowed and Sacred Plus Four, and that that could turn out to be a very great um, item for us if it you know if it helps us make our turn in undead effective. Between that, seek eternal rest, and then we did get plus one in here, so this gives us plus one to our level for turning undead and two to the number of hit dice turned, and it gives us an additional turn undead usage. So we're now up to nine. This, item, um, this spell, Seek Eternal Rest, gives us plus four uh, for the level for turning purposes. And then this item gives us plus four to the um, ability to turn undead and then plus four to the hit dice. So this could be very, I mean, this could make it useful on Reaper. I'm skeptical, but I'm going to give it a try. So let's stick to this, these boots in the slot here. Um, I'm gonna put them here and make them my main boots and then I'll have to swap to use my Expeditious Retreat clickies. Like I, similar to what I've had to do with my gloves all along. All right, so these goggles I can't use, they're level eight seeker spot and they sort of just fit right in here and replace these. Intelligence and spot. Um, I hate to give up the Seeker, but at the same time, you know, uh, it's a better spot, and then Intelligence helps with our Search and Disable. And we have had a few, you know, a few fails, not anything to be worried about, but might as well do this and get our Intelligence up for our Search and Disable. It's not helping us damage-wise, but it's a little better than the goggles we had. And so these, um, let's see, this I'm going to sell, this I'm going to give to the bank character, and this was a nice item for us for several levers, levels. It's a little bit damaged now. So it has some permanent damage on it from uh, use usage. And then we had we had also put these two for selling to the bank or to the auction house. My previous auction house has still not sold, so I'll keep those there. Uh, all right. So if we look at items, uh, just kind of going across the board. I feel pretty good about the goggles, but if we find something better, that's, you know, that's great. Uh, sheltering Surge, that's still a pretty good item. Um, this item, uh, Death Block, I don't think we're quite to where we're going to be hitting death effects. That will be coming up, you know, soon. It'll sneak up on us. And if we run a few higher level quests, we might actually run into this. Um, this trinket was not something we were looking for, but it gives us heroism without the potion. In fact, I have to remember, i probably just take this off my hotbar for now, since we don't really need the potion, since we have this. Now, I want to make sure it's actually working. Um, so my, you can see all my skills, and if I take this off, they should all go down by two, and they do. So it's working as expected. Charisma plus two, that helps with turn undeads. That helps with um, UMD, although our UMD is a little off. And then we get the plus three um, mythic bonus. So helping our DPS out a very little amount, but still every little bit counts. This cloak uh, is good. I mean, if we find something better, we'll take it. This belt, uh, this drop for us in Red Will Ruins as an end reward, this is probably the best item that's dropped for us so far in all of playing in terms of random loot. This is a really nice item. I really don't think we're going to do better than this item, honestly, even though it's level five, but we'll, you know, we'll take a look. Um, ring, uh, you know, if we can get an electric ring, electric absorb, electric 
resist in either a cloak or a ring, that would free that up. So that might be something I'll look for is to see if we can get this in one item. Um, and then, you know, we have our uh, fire all in one item. We have our acid all in one item and we have our cold all in one item. So it'd be great if we can just get the electric that same way. Although it's probably in more demand because of the cobalts and the amount that they do. These gloves were just really great for us at the time. They were, we got them from the auction house. It was our best item for a while. Uh, we might be able to, I mean, we have strength four here. So really all this is giving us is plus three deadly. So we'll look to upgrade and see if we can get a plus four or even plus five deadly at level seven. Um, these boots, we just, you know, we want to try them out, you know, but if we find some boots, these, this is only really useful against undead. So if we find some kind of utility boots that might be useful other than undead, then we might uh, use that against, you know, another quest. Con three, um, you know, we might find better. We'll, you know, we'll see the nullification is certainly you know, not helping us. So um, I'd say this ring is a, you know, rings are kind of a priority because we can, we, we, a couple places we could look to upgrade. Uh, bracers, same thing. Move silently. We're really not using right now much. Spell saves is certainly good, but if we can get just a regular old save item, that would be better. So we'll look at bracers and rings as a priority. Uh, this armor is still good, giving us six against uh, bludgeon, uh, bludgeoning and or against uh, piercing and slashing. And um, you know, weapons will always take a look and see if we can do better. So let me trade. Uh, I logged on my uh, banking account that I created a, uh, a few days ago, ran some favor, and then um, to, so that it can get the expansion packs and then use the free coupon so that if I ever decide to play on it, I pretty much have a, a pretty fairly loaded account because uh, those, uh, those uh, the ability to get all that free stuff is going to go away August 31st and same with the discounts on the expansions. All right, so these two items we wanted to, to trade. We'll go ahead and put this. It's a flawed Sibiris. Um, you can exchange a feed from one to four. We're past that level, but you know it, it's good to save these. We might be able to use it in the future. And plus, if you get ten of these, you can upgrade uh, it from to the next tier, which would probably be level five to whatever for a free for a uh, not a free feed exchange. You have to pay platinum with it as well. So we'll trade those three things. And uh, the belt we're just going to sell, we decided. This we're going to keep. And this hireling we're going to delete. We're going to get another one here shortly. So that takes care of our inventory. We've got a pretty good inventory. We'll sell this item. Check out and see what we can get in the auction house. Because we have an item that's um, for sale, uh, the one drawback we have is we can't bid on an item. We could buy it out, but we can't bid on it. Um, so we'll, we'll see what's there with a special emphasis on rings and bracers. And we'll take a look. Let's just take a look first to see if there's a class portable hole. Um, those kind of premium items are usually on the Astral Shard auction house, not available to us. We're just not going to worry about those. But here's one for 700,000, way out of our price range. You can see they're very... Uh, valuable items, but um, they do drop and people do sell them. Uh, let's just change the level range here from seven, and I'm going to put four for now because I want to just see what's there. And I'm going to start with augments because our dream uh, this is the first one we've seen, it's not one we could use, but our dream is to get a sapphire of moderate fortification and stick it in here. That's available at level four, and it gives a 75% fortification, so that's better than what we currently have. Although this, you know, this isn't too bad. So no luck there. Um, next, we're going to take a look at uh, rings and see if we can improve ourselves on rings at all. Uh, you know, some days we look and we see a lot of a lot of things, and we could, you could sort of tell like alkaline is acid absorbed, so you could sort of tell. Uh, as you learn these, what the, the various things mean. And then if you see this, of course, you want to really pay attention to it because it's a um, it's a special prefix that has two things. In this case, it's good luck and heightened awareness. But heightened awareness plus zero is not super appealing. 
Uh, if you hold for one second, I have a call. Sorry about that. It looked like a real call, but it was a spam call. Um, Alluring 3, um, not too bad. Arcanists, Charisma, and UMD. This is an interesting item if we want to try to boost our um, UMD. Um, but a lot of the things that we want to get, uh, we can do because we have Paladin levels, like some of the healing. We could use this wand for no UMD check because we're, we're a Paladin. We're going to go get race, race scrolls from the house cave vendors soon at right after this and that is another thing that uh that that doesn't require umd check in fact we better get those before we before we buy anything so we don't run out of money so i'm just going to run to house k and sh and uh we're going to buy some ray scrolls so we don't have we're soloing uh just to show you know a players how to solo in this game uh you could you know as a first life Free to play player, you can successfully solo even difficult content. Uh, if you know if you if you do things right, and that's what we're trying to to just uh, or show in this video. And if we go to House Kundrick, which is kind of between House Kaneth to your right and House Jurasco to your left. We visited this uh, guild wand vendor, um, and we still have, I think, plenty of critical scrolls. I don't think there's anything better than cure critical. We could take a look and see if there's some other um, things. Yeah, you know, there's no lesser restoration. Sometimes if they had that, like neutralized po po poison, this is 0.10 pounds, and these are um, 0.8 pounds. So uh, it might actually be useful to do this just for uh, just because it takes up less space. Same with remove blindness. Um, it's just less heavy and it takes up less space for the wand. Uh, probably the same for remove curse. Honestly, that's 50 charges. Um, and uh, but but it's expensive and we're a little tight on money, so we're not going to do this now. We, but we are when we get low on this next time. Uh, consider that. Uh, same with remove disease. It's more expensive, but you know, um, takes up less space. Now, this one, interestingly enough, remove disease. We don't have, uh, we have, we don't get automatic UMD check for, so we probably wouldn't get that one. But the, for sure, the Paladin level, the the ones that Paladins give no UMD check, and you can see, 25%. Uh, that's not very good. So we'll need to keep those potions. That's the only ones that look good. I think we've got enough on energy. We've got the House uh, Falaran buffs now if we need it. Wand of Shield is 65%. We've got our clickies. Um, we may just over time get to 100% if we have an item, but I'm not going to worry about this for now. Um, these are all bound to account items we want to keep for next life, so uh, no need to really deal with that. Now, if we go to the Divine Vendor, um, if we go to Cure Serious or Cure Critical Wounds, that's really the same as the Wand. Interestingly enough here, um, bards don't get the automatic chance to activate. So you can see it's like a 5% chance versus our Cure Sirius, which is 100% um, chance. And, and same, it would be the same if we go to the, the scrolls, 25%. Um, now, let me go check on the wand vendor because I think we could actually upgrade now to Cure Critical. Um, but we only have a 5% chance to activate because we don't get the, they don't let us automatically bypass the UMD. And our UMD, we have some ranks to it. We have decent charisma, but that's just something that requires a lot of investment. And we're not able to do it because we need to focus on trapping. All right. So um, we, we can't use this restoration yet. Uh, heal, we're at 0%. So we're probably not going to be able to scroll heal heal anytime soon raise dead uh okay so there's no umd check for us but uh minimum level is seven it's a level nine spell and we are five levels of paladins uh 
at level seven. So I think the reason it's 75% is for every level below nine, we're getting a minus 5%. But that's not still ba bad. I mean, we're probably not going to be raising hirelings in the middle of combat. But, um, you know, I'm going to get, let's see, let's get, we haven't had any deaths yet, but, you know, it might start to pick up. So let's just take 25. We can't even afford that. So let's just say we want to get, um, for now, just five. That's pretty pricey. So, um, but we haven't had any deaths yet, but, um, and we'll try to drag back to a, uh, drag back to a shrine if we can. Um, but I mean, at least that gives us the option to, if we can't find a shrine and our hireling dies, like it did in the one quest, we now have the option. I'm just going to drag this to my hotbar and I hope I don't have to use this, but you know, we'll just get, we'll have five scrolls and, uh, we'll try to keep these up to date. They're pretty expensive. Um, but you know, huge utility. So that leaves us with. About 10,000, so now we don't have to, we can just spend whatever we have. We we have our medium bags that we wanted to get. Uh, I don't think we have a medium ingredient bag yet, but we may not need that. We might be able to go right to the larges uh, that we can earn from the subterrain at a higher level. All right, so it just takes us back to rings. We're now getting into where we can't even afford these rings, and I, I didn't see anything better than what we have. So let's take a look at bracers. Uh, it's kind of as a reminder, we have the spell saves plus two and, and uh, suffix is not totally useless, but not something we're really ever using. So I didn't really see anything better than spell saves plus two. Um, so we'll just take a look at everything now and see if there's any, let's start with the weapons. Um, for Reaper, we're pretty much using our ethereal weapons unless we get that trinket this level. So we'll start with great swords, nothing at all. And, and then we'll, so we'll go to, uh, quarter staffs, although, you know, at this point, quarter staffs are really for specific enemies, but if we get a really good one, you know, construct, it, construct bane is good. Uh, but poisonous doesn't go well with construct bane. Um, nothing too useful here that I'm seeing. A lot of weapons for sale, but they're mostly caster sticks. So we are going to just um, change the level search real quick and see under weapons if we could find anything with blue shine. Nope, it's, unless blue shine is one word. Nope. Um, if we did that, we could maybe take the weapon, just craft it down to a blank, and then uh, use it on oozes. And let's take a look at muck. Just type in muck because there's a couple weapons. Um, so let's see. Our, our post. Oh, we did sell. Our post did sell, so we can bid on this. Um, all right, these are basically gone in 12 hours. So we have time, but uh, it's probably worth bidding on these. Um, this would solve our ooze problem and that problem is gonna get worse next level for us, or actually this level, because we, we're gonna run some uh, quests in House Deneth where they really break down your weapons fast. Um, all right, so let's bid on these. These are quite cheap. I uh, can only bid on one thing at a time. Let's bid on the cheapest one. Let's just see what happens. Um, we could still do a buyout while we have uh, while we have our bid. Uh, all right, so we've not really, um, don't really have a solution for Usus yet. Let's just take a look and see if there's anything cheap in the clothing area. You can see sometimes you can find stuff cheap like this, um, but let's see if there's anything useful that's cheap. I mean, not, not bad boots, but um, not really better than what we have. I mean, this is our resistance item here, but um, 
we're giving up our search. So I guess we could use this as a as a swap item. We're losing two sheltering and the search, but you know resistance saves is pretty important for an evasion tune. So let's keep an eye on that. That's a potential one worth buying. Wow, strength five. Uh, that's minimum level 13. Let me let me put this back to seven, and probably five at this point. Um, so that one we looked at was still kind of in play. Um, here's another strength, uh, double strike strength, but we have con and fortification. I, I'd like to get double strike, but um, you know we just we we just have to find it on a slot that makes sense to upgrade. What is hearkening? That is listen. Okay, we don't really need that. As far as I know, that's used in one quest in the whole game. Um, the the Wizard King. All right, so we're gonna only look for things up to about five thousand or so, and then just let's see, light resistance. Hmm. Negative resistance, that's interesting. I mean, not sure if we have anything that's coming up. At higher levels, we certainly will. There's that helmet. All right, we're up to 5,000 now, and we're not really finding anything other than that one helmet. I'll just take a look a little over it. Uh, here's Harkening 4, which is Listen Resistance. The other one's better. All right, so nothing there. Let's check Jewelry. I mean, accuracy seven, I'd like to have, but I just don't, don't, I uh, think, I think I like the spot on there now and I like the intelligence. So don't think we can give that up right now. Deadly three we have on our gloves. I'd love to upgrade the deadly, but um, if it's not on the glove spot, it becomes a little complicated because we have to, we have to, Make sure our gear is, is going to work. Um, so I'm getting to where I can't even afford the stuff. Deflecting 7 is spell resistance. All right. Um, nothing. Larn ring. Hmm, I guess that's for a bard. We can't even afford this stuff. Uh, nothing here on looks good. So everything we looked at, um, I mean, I think the only thing that I really saw that I liked was this hat. And I really do like this hat. Uh plus three saves. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the hat. Get it from the mail and two P let's see what it does to our uh, physical resistance rating. Um, we get the hat, we get the, oh, those are points. All right, I'll keep those for now. And so before the, the, I make this change, my defense damage reduction is 28.06. So if I make this change and I say, okay, this hat is going to be my main hat, and I'm going to swap hats when I search. So I'll drop it to the hot bar here, and then I'll drop this one as a search hat. Okay, my saves go up by three. That's a 15% improvement. My defense goes down to 27.01, so that's 1% less damage reduction. I think it's a good trade-off because, uh, you know, saves for an evasion. Of course, we have, like, yet another inventory slot taken by swap item, but um, I like that as a trade-off, a 1% damage reduction. So that means if we take a hit for 100, we take 90, we, or we take, we, uh, before we would have taken 72 and now we take 71. Of course, we're not seeing that those kind of numbers except against Reapers. So that's, you know, uh, 100 is about the biggest we're seeing, maybe 200. So it would be one to two damage less on those big hits. I could live with that. Whereas three saves gives us a 15% chance of making our save and not taking any damage. Uh, again, Reapers are pretty bad there. I'm liking that 15% chance. So I think that's that's going to be our gear set now. We finally have a resistance item. Um, 
you know, we'll look to upgrade this and then we'll, we'll swap the spot item in. I'd love to get a, um, a spot disable open lock or search, search disable open lock on, on one item. And there is a level six quest that has that. So I might, uh, I might look to do that currently. I think I have an open lock item here which I've never used and uh, you know, maybe we don't need. And then I have this search item here, which I only had for main hat as a brief time. We haven't really had a problem finding hats uh, or finding traps, but you know, maybe, maybe uh, if we didn't swap this weapon on, we would. So I think we're good. We're all set for running level three reapers and level four normal hard runs.